a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Easter Easter, also called Pascha or Resurrection Sunday, is a festival and holiday celebrating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, described in the New Testament as having occurred on the third day of his burial after his crucifixion by the Romans at Calvary 30 AD. It is the culmination of the Passion of Jesus, preceded by Lent, a fourth-day period of fasting, prayer, and penance. Most Christians refer to the week before Easter as Holy Week. It contains the days of the Easter Triduum, including Maundy Thursday, commemorating the Maundy and Last Supper, as well as Good Friday, commemorating the crucifixion and death of Jesus. In Western Christianity, Eastertide, or the Easter season, begins on Easter Sunday and lasts seven weeks, ending with the coming of the 50th day, Pentecost Sunday. In Eastern Christianity, the season of Pascha begins on Pascha and ends with the coming of the 40th day, the Feast of the Ascension. Easter and the holidays that are related to it are movable feasts which do not fall on a fixed date in the Gregorian or Julian calendars which follow only the cycle of the sun. Rather, its date is determined on a lunisolar calendar similar to the Hebrew calendar. The First Council of Nicaea established two rules, independence of the Jewish calendar and worldwide uniformity, which were the only rules for Easter explicitly laid down by the Council. No details for the computation were specified. These were worked out in practice, a process that took centuries and generated a number of controversies. It has come to be the first Sunday after the ecclesiastical full moon that occurs on or soonest after the 21st of March, but calculations vary. Easter is linked to the Jewish Passover by much of its symbolism, as well as by its position in the calendar. In most European languages the feast called Easter in English is termed by the words for Passover in those languages, and in the older English versions of the Bible the term Easter was the term used to translate Passover. Easter customs vary across the Christian world, and include sunrise services, exclaiming the Paschal greeting, clipping the church, and decorating Easter eggs. The Easter lily, a symbol of the resurrection, traditionally decorates the chancel area of churches on this day and for the rest of Eastertide. Additional customs that have become associated with Easter and are observed by both Christians and some non-Christians include egg hunting, the Easter bunny, and Easter parades. There are also various traditional Easter foods that vary regionally. Etymology The modern English term Easter, cognate with modern Dutch Easter and German Osten, developed from an Old English word that usually appears in the form Eastrun, on, or an but also as Eastru, O, and Easter or Eoster. The most widely accepted theory of the origin of the term is that it is derived from the name of an Old English goddess mentioned by the 7th to 8th century English monk Bede, who wrote that Eoster Monoth was an English month, corresponding to April, which he says was once called after a goddess of theirs named Eoster, in whose honor feasts were celebrated in that month. In Latin and Greek, the Christian celebration was, and still is, called Pascha, a word derived from Aramaic, cognate to Hebrew. The word originally denoted the Jewish festival known in English as Passover, commemorating the Jewish exodus from slavery in Egypt. As early as the 50s of the first century, Paul, writing from Ephesus to the Christians in Corinth, applied the term to Christ. And it is unlikely that the Ephesian and Corinthian Christians were the first to hear Exodus 12 interpreted as speaking about the death of Jesus, not just about the Jewish Passover ritual. In most of the non-English speaking world, the feast is known by names derived from Greek and Latin Pascha. Pascha is also a name by which Jesus himself is remembered in the Orthodox Church, especially in connection with his resurrection and with the season of its celebration. Theological Significance The New Testament states that the resurrection of Jesus, which Easter celebrates, is a foundation of the Christian faith. The resurrection established Jesus as the powerful Son of God and is cited as proof that God will judge the world in righteousness. For those who trust in Jesus' death and resurrection, death is swallowed up in victory. Any person who chooses to follow Jesus receives a new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Through faith in the working of God those who follow Jesus are spiritually resurrected with him so that they may walk in a new way of life and receive eternal salvation. Easter is linked to Passover and the Exodus from Egypt recorded in the Old Testament through the Last Supper. 
sufferings, and crucifixion of Jesus that preceded the resurrection. According to the New Testament, Jesus gave the Passover meal a new meaning, as in the upper room during the Last Supper he prepared himself and his disciples for his death. He identified the matzah and cup of wine as his body soon to be sacrificed and his blood soon to be shed. Paul states, Get rid of the old yeast that you may be a new batch without yeast, as you really are. For Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. This refers to the Passover requirement to have no yeast in the house and to the allegory of Jesus as the Paschal Lamb. One interpretation of the Gospel of John is that Jesus, as the Passover Lamb, was crucified, at roughly the same time as the Passover lambs were being slain in the temple, on the afternoon of Nisan 14. The scriptural instructions specify that the lamb is to be slain, between the two evenings, that is, at twilight. By the Roman period, however, the sacrifices were performed in the mid-afternoon. Josephus, Jewish War 6.10.1423. Philo, Special Laws 2.27145. This interpretation, however, is inconsistent with the chronology in the Synoptic Gospels. It assumes that text literally translated, the preparation of the Passover, in John 19.14 refers to Nisan 14 and not necessarily to Yom Shishi and that the priests desire to be ritually pure in order to eat the Passover, refers to eating the Passover lamb, not to the public offerings made during the days of unleavened bread. In the early church, the first Christians, Jewish, and Gentile, were certainly aware of the Hebrew calendar. Jewish Christians, the first, to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus, timed the observance in relation to Passover. Direct evidence, for a more fully formed Christian festival of Pascha begins to appear in the mid-2nd century. Perhaps the earliest extant primary source referring to Easter is a mid-2nd century Paschal homily attributed to Melito of Sardis, which characterizes the celebration as a well-established one. Evidence for another kind of annual Christian festival, the commemoration of martyrs, begins to appear at about the same time as evidence for the celebration of Easter. While martyrs' days were celebrated on fixed dates in the local solar calendar, the date of Easter was fixed by means of the local Jewish lunisolar calendar. This is consistent with the celebration of Easter having entered Christianity during its earliest Jewish period, but does not leave the question free of doubt. The ecclesiastical historian Socrates Scholasticus attributes the observance of Easter by the Church to the perpetuation of its custom, just as many other customs have been established, stating that neither Jesus nor his apostles enjoined the keeping of this or any other festival, although he describes the details of the Easter celebration as deriving from local custom, he insists the feast itself is universally observed. Date Easter and the holidays that are related to it are movable feasts in that they do not fall on a fixed date in the Gregorian or Julian calendars. Instead, the date for Easter is determined on a lunisolar calendar similar to the Hebrew calendar. The First Council of Nicaea established two rules, independence of the Jewish calendar and worldwide uniformity, which were the only rules for Easter explicitly laid down by the Council. No details for the computation were specified. These were worked out in practice a process that took centuries and generated a number of controversies. In particular, the Council did not decree that Easter must fall on Sunday. This was already the practice almost everywhere. In Western Christianity, using the Gregorian calendar, Easter always falls on a Sunday between 22 March and the 25th of April inclusive, within about seven days after the astronomical full moon. The following day, Easter Monday, is a legal holiday in many countries with predominantly Christian traditions. Eastern Christianity bases its calculations on the Julian calendar. Because of the 13-day difference between the calendars between 1900 and 2099, the 21st of March corresponds, during the 21st century, to the 3rd of April in the Gregorian calendar. Easter therefore varies between 4 April and the 8th of May in the Gregorian calendar. Also, because the Julian full moon is always several days after the astronomical full moon, the Eastern Easter is often later, relative to the visible moon's phases, than Western Easter. Among the Oriental Orthodox some churches have changed from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar and the date for Easter as for other fixed and movable feasts is the same as in the Western Church. Computations In 725 
Godspeed succinctly wrote, The Sunday following the full moon which falls on or after the equinox will give the lawful Easter. However, this does not precisely reflect the ecclesiastical rules. The full moon referred to is not an astronomical full moon, but the 14th day of a calendar lunar month. Another difference is that the astronomical equinox is a natural astronomical phenomenon, which can fall on 19, 20 or the 21st of March, while the ecclesiastical date is fixed by convention on the 21st of March. In applying the ecclesiastical rules, Christian churches use the 21st of March as the starting point in determining the date of Easter, from which they find the next full moon, etc. The Eastern Orthodox and Oriental Orthodox churches continue to use the Julian calendar. Their starting point in determining the date of Orthodox Easter is also the 21st of March, but according to the Julian reckoning, which in the current century corresponds to the 3rd of April in the Gregorian calendar. In addition, the lunar tables of the Julian calendar are four days behind those of the Gregorian calendar. The 14th day of the lunar month according to the Gregorian system is figured as the 9th or 10th day according to the Julian. The result of this combination of solar and lunar discrepancies is divergence in the date of Easter in most years. Easter is determined on the basis of lunisolar cycles. The lunar year consists of 30-day and 29-day lunar months, generally alternating, with an embolismic month added periodically to bring the lunar cycle into line with the solar cycle. In each solar year, the lunar month beginning with an ecclesiastical new moon falling in the 29-day period from 8 March to the 5th of April inclusive is designated as the Paschal Lunar Month. For that year, Easter is the third Sunday in the Paschal Lunar Month, or, in other words, the Sunday after the Paschal Lunar Month's 14th day. The 14th of the Paschal Lunar Month is designated by convention as the Paschal Full Moon, although the 14th of the Lunar Month may differ from the date of the astronomical full moon by up to two days. Since the ecclesiastical new moon falls on a date from 8 March to the 5th of April inclusive, the paschal full moon must fall on a date from 21 March to the 18th of April inclusive. The Gregorian calculation of Easter was based on a method devised by the Calabrian doctor Aloysius Lilius for adjusting the impacts of the moon and has been adopted by almost all Western Christians and by Western countries which celebrate national holidays at Easter. For the British Empire and colonies, a determination of the date of Easter Sunday using golden numbers and Sunday letters was defined by the Calendar Act 1750 with its annex. This was designed to match exactly the Gregorian calculation. Controversies over the date The precise date of Easter has at times been a matter of contention. By the later 2nd century, it was widely accepted that the celebration of the holiday was a practice of the disciples and an undisputed tradition. The Quartodeciman controversy, the first of several Easter controversies, arose concerning the date on which the holiday should be celebrated. The term, Quartodeciman, refers to the practice of celebrating Easter on Nisan 14 of the Hebrew calendar, the S. Passover. According to the church historian Eusebius, the Quartodeciman Polycarp debated the question with Anicetus. The Roman province of Asia was Quartodeciman, while the Roman and Alexandrian churches continued the fast until the Sunday following, wishing to associate Easter with Sunday. Neither Polycarp nor Anicetus persuaded the other, but they did not consider the matter schismatic either, parting in peace, and leaving the question unsettled. Controversy arose when Victor, bishop of Rome a generation after Anicetus, attempted to excommunicate Polycrates of Ephesus and all other bishops of Asia for their quartodeciminism. According to Eusebius, a number of synods were convened to deal with the controversy, which he regarded as all ruling in support of Easter on Sunday. Polycrates, however, wrote to Victor defending the antiquity of Asian quartodeciminism. Victor's attempted excommunication was apparently rescinded and the two sides reconciled upon the intervention of Bishop Irenaeus and others, who reminded Victor of the tolerant precedent of Anicetus. Quartodeciminism seems to have lingered into the 4th century, when Socrates of Constantinople recorded that some Quartodecimans were deprived of their churches by John Chrysostom and that some were harassed by Nestorius. It is not known how long the Nisan 14 practice continued, but both those who followed the Nisan 14 custom and those who set Easter to the following Sunday had in common the custom of consulting their Jewish neighbors to learn when the month of Nisan would fall. 
and setting their festival accordingly. By the late 3rd century, however, some Christians began to express dissatisfaction with the custom of relying on the Jewish community to determine the date of Easter. The chief complaint was that the Jewish communities sometimes erred in setting Passover to fall before the Northern Hemisphere spring equinox. The Sardica Paschal Table confirms these complaints, for it indicates that the Jews of some eastern Mediterranean city fixed Nisan 14 on dates well before the spring equinox on multiple occasions. Because of this dissatisfaction with reliance on the Jewish calendar, some Christians began to experiment with independent computations. Others, however, believed that the customary practice of consulting Jews should continue, even if the Jewish computations were in error. First Council of Nicaea, 325 AD This controversy between those who advocated independent computations, and those who wished to continue the custom of relying on the Jewish calendar, was formally resolved by the First Council of Nicaea in 325, which endorsed changing to an independent computation by the Christian community in order to celebrate in common. This effectively required the abandonment of the old custom of consulting the Jewish community in those places where it was still used. Epiphanius of Salamis wrote in the mid-fourth century, the emperor convened a council of 318 bishops. In the city of Nicaea, they passed certain ecclesiastical canons at the council besides, and at the same time decreed in regard to the Passover that there must be one unanimous concord on the celebration of God's holy and supremely excellent day. For it was variously observed by people that the older custom did not at once die out, but persisted for a time, is indicated by the existence of canons and sermons against it. Dionysius Exiguus, and others following him, maintained that the 318 bishops assembled at the Nicene Council had specified a particular method of determining the date of Easter. Subsequent scholarship has refuted this tradition. In any case, in the years following the Council, the computational system that was worked out by the Church of Alexandria came to be normative. It took a while for the Alexandrian rules to be adopted throughout Christian Europe. However, the eight-year cycle originally employed was replaced by Augustulus' treatise on the measurement of Easter, after which Rome used his 84-year lunisolar calendar cycle until 457. It then switched to an adaptation by Victorius of the Alexandrian rules because this Victorian cycle differed from the Alexandrian cycle in the dates of some of the Paschal full moons, and because it tried to respect the Roman custom of fixing Easter to the Sunday in the week of the 16th to the 22nd of the lunar month by providing alternative Latin and Greek dates in some years. Occasional differences in the date of Easter as fixed by Alexandrian rules continued. The Alexandrian rules were adopted in the West following the tables of Dionysius Exiguus in 525. From this time, therefore, all discrepancies between Alexandria and Rome as to the correct date for Easter cease, as both churches were using identical tables. Early Christians in Britain and Ireland also used an 84-year cycle. From the 5th century onward this cycle set its equinox to the 25th of March, and fixed Easter to the Sunday falling in the 14th to the 20th of the lunar month inclusive. This 84-year cycle was replaced by the Alexandrian method in the course of the 7th and 8th centuries. Churches in Western continental Europe used a late Roman method until the late 8th century during the reign of Charlemagne, when they finally adopted the Alexandrian method. Since 1582, when the Catholic Church adopted the Gregorian calendar while the Eastern Orthodox and most Oriental Orthodox churches retained the Julian calendar, the date on which Easter is celebrated has again differed. The Greek island of Syros, whose population is divided almost equally between Catholics and Orthodox, is one of the few places where the two churches share a common date for Easter, with the Catholics accepting the Orthodox date a practice helping considerably in maintaining good relations between the two communities. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?